at nine, it is the power of the pen. Wisconsin's governor has the most powerful partial veto of any state in the country. A new lawsuit aims to change that. Fox 6's Sam Kramer explains this lawsuit stems from the last budget bill. In a state as politically charged as ours, the governor's partial veto could be the most bipartisan tradition we have. In other parts of the country, in other parts of the world, for that matter, the veto is a relatively boring maneuver between the executive and the legislature. In Wisconsin, it's a sport. In 2005, Governor Jim Doyle issued the Frankenstein veto, slashing pages down to 20 words to move more than $400 million to his Department of Administration. In 2017, Governor Scott Walker penned the 1,000-year veto, extending an energy program pause meant for one year until December 3018. And in July... Governor Tony Evers extended a per pupil funding increase for schools by 402 years just by crossing out a few numbers. No governor in Wisconsin has the authority to use a Vanna White or pick a letter veto to eliminate certain letters or certain digits or numbers to create new words and new numbers. So Monday, on behalf of two taxpayers, Wisconsin manufacturers and commerce petitioned the state Supreme Court, asking the justices to strike Evers' vetoes. In a statement, a spokeswoman for Evers accuses Republicans and their allies of stopping at nothing to keep resources from public schools. But UW-Madison professor emeritus Howard Schwaber says it's less about schools and more about principle. Despite the fact that it's delightful and amusing, uh, this is no way to run a railroad, let alone a state. And so I certainly hope that the Wisconsin Supreme Court will, will agree. That was Sam Kramer reporting. Three times Wisconsin voters have limited the governor's partial veto authority by approving constitutional amendments. The governor cannot cross out letters or sentences to form new ones. That's, uh, it, it's not clear if or when the court would pick this up, but the experts predict it wouldn't take long.